Welcome to Always Dolls. Today we have a big project showing you how to make your 18 inch dolls their own version of American Girl's new gourmet kitchen. Bakers and budding chefs will love to create culinary masterpieces in this modern kitchen. The set is comprised of two large structures that can be arranged in multiple ways for hours of play. Unit A features a large undermount sink, lower cupboard and dishwasher. It also has stylish open shelves for storage and display. Whilst Unit B has the oven, modern fridge with deep drawer freezer, upper cabinets and microwave. Because this is custom made, you can easily adjust the colours and finishes to suit your own aesthetic. Flick the pink stove and change the busy backsplash to create a harmonious kitchen that looks more realistic. We also share fun ideas to replicate AG's cool features and offer a bonus space so the dolls have more room to prepare, cook and display all their yummy meals. We'd super appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel. This is one of our longer videos, so let's get making! For this project, we use a combination of 10 and 5mm foam board. You can substitute this material with cardboard, but I recommend stacking a few pieces together to achieve the same thickness. We also need contact paper and spray paint. Start by cutting two large rectangles for the back wall of each structure. You can find our cut list in the description box below. Cover the upper visible areas with a white subway tile printable. Now we will focus on unit A. Cut all your pieces from thick foam board. Using liquid glue, adhere the left side wall, then the base. Affix the internal walls for the cupboard and the dishwasher areas. Followed by the right side wall. Mark a 2.5cm border on the front panel before cutting out the openings. Check the front panel aligns with the placement of your internal walls and adjust if needed. Now we can add the dishwasher tracks. Take pairs of skinny sticks, cut them to size and paint white. Glue sets of sticks 5mm apart at 4cm and 14cm from the base. We also glued a small shelf into the cupboard space. For dishwasher racks, we will recycle the packaging from shallow berry punnets and make the tines from craft wire. Clip off a 10cm piece. Place the mouth of your pliers at one end and bend upward to form a leg. Measure up 3cm and bend the wire at 90 degrees. Measure over 2.5cm and bend the wire downward to make the second leg. Cut off the excess wire. Then make a few more. Adhere a row of tines against the left side of your rack. Put a strong glue on the feet and place them into the base of the punnet. Once the glue has dried, you can stack all your doll's dirty dishes, cups and bowls and slide the dishwasher rack into the tracks. Next, cut the dishwasher door from 5mm foam board. Add paperboard trim at the top for dimension. Glue a paperboard hinge to the back side flush with the bottom edge. Paint the door silver to mimic a stainless steel finish. And add the display screen printable for extra detail. Cut the cupboard door and frame it with paperboard. Affix another hinge to the back, then paint it the colour of your choice. We liked AG's concept of blue cabinetry, but felt a muted blue shade looked softer and more realistic. 
Make a handle from popsicle sticks with beads hot glued underneath. We matched the gold finish like those seen in AG's set. Glue the paperboard tab to the foam board frame, ensuring the hinge is flush with the door opening. Put something heavy on top while the glue dries. To keep your door shut, insert short lengths of toothpick into the foam board and poke matching holes into the frame. Repeat this step at the top of the dishwasher door. We can now adhere the frame to the unit. Cut the countertop from thick foam board. Our sink is an empty cotton tip container. You could also use square shaped Tupperware. Spray paint it white. Position it two and a half centimeters from the left edge. Trace the outline to cut a matching opening. Cover the countertop with marble contact paper or change the finish to match your dollhouse aesthetic. Then hot glue the sink under the opening for an undermount effect. Mark the placement of the faucet. We are using an authentic AG tap bought from eBay last year and spray painted it gloss black to change the look. Hot glue the faucet into place. Next, cut and cover two shelves in wood grain contact paper and paint tablecloth clips gloss black. Attach the shelves to the back wall at 8 cm and 18 cm from the top edge and hot glue the clips underneath to stabilize the shelves. Join the counter to the unit. The sink should slip between the internal cupboard walls. Our backsplash is from Daiso. They are peel and stick decorative window sheets and come in a variety of patterns and colors. We chose the simple filigree design since it complements the black swirl in the marble and our black faucet and brackets. Excellent! The first structure is complete. Have fun filling the shelves with items from your doll's kitchen collection. Go bright and colourful with your accessories since the finishes are more subdued and neutral. We are excited to keep crafting, so let's build Unit B. The best part of this structure are the standalone appliances. Starting with the oven, cut the majority of pieces from 5mm black foam board. You need the back wall, left and right sides, base, oven floor and three floor supports. Glue the back and left side together. Add in the base, then your three floor supports. Working with liquid glue is easier as you have wiggle time to move pieces around for neater, more accurate results. Close up the right side wall, then add the oven tracks using more skinny sticks. Next, double your foam board for a faux draw and glue it flush with the bottom edge. Paint the stove top silver before fixing in place, then add the hot plate. The burners are wedges of fun foam glued around stacked circles of paperboard. To define the quadrants, cut and layer thin strips of black cardstock. Cut two frames for the oven door. Place strips of double-sided tape around the window to attach a rectangle of clear packaging for faux glass. Then sandwich the packaging between the two frames. The dial plate is also two layers of foam board thick. Add a 1cm strip of paperboard along the top for dimension and cut a small circle from the centre. Remove the head from a mini book lamp and push the switch end through to the front. Secure the lamp on the inside with lots of hot glue. We now have a working oven light. Make control knobs from more stacked circles of paperboard painted gold. Adhere the dial plate to the top front of the oven. Attach a paperboard hinge to the inside of the door along with short segments of toothpick. Push the toothpicks into the raw foam board edges and glue the second tab of the hinge to the floor support panel. 
Here, we bought rubber chair tips from the hardware store for oven feet. Spray paint them silver, then hot glue a foot to each corner of the base. We also made a simple oven rack by layering cake pop sticks following the grid pattern on my craft mat. The cake pop sticks are strong, easily holding the weight of AG's cinnamon roll and lasagna trays. The glow from the oven light really makes this piece special. Next up, cut the fridge back wall, external side walls, base, internal side walls, top and bottom piece, frame and door. Build a basic box with the silver side walls facing outward. Glue in your white internal walls, then slide the bottom piece into position. As with the oven, affix the head of a mini lamp through the centre of your top piece, then close up the box. Neaten the visible foam board edges by gluing the frame piece over top. Then adhere sets of skinny sticks for shelf supports. For the shelves, we have these Daiso acrylic display stands from a previous craft, however they are too long. No worries, take a box cutter or X-Acto blade and score the plastic on both sides. Place the cut line over your work table and snap off the excess using sturdy pliers. Now the acrylic shelves fit perfectly into the fridge. Cover the opening in the door piece with clear packaging and attach a paperboard hinge. Glue the tab to the frame, aligning the hinge with the right edge. Cut the freezer door and affix a handle. Owls are made from a chopstick glued between the curved tips from popsicle sticks. Paint gold to match the rest of the set. The freezer drawer is just a stationary basket hot glued to the back side of the door. Cut the floor of the upper cabinets, making a hole where the switch of the mini lamp protrudes from the fridge top. Then adhere the walls and cupboard door frames. It's optional, but we layered scraps of foam board to level the floor with the frame. Combine both 10 and 5mm foam board for the roof and paint your desired colour. Cut doors that are slightly bigger than the frame openings and attach using paperboard hinges. We affixed the cabinets directly to the wall, but not to the fridge, so we could use this piece separately from the set in the future. Okay, let's finish with the microwave. Glue the right side wall on top of the base piece, then attach three dividing walls. Glue in the white internal and back wall, then the left wall, ensuring only the outside is painted silver. This time, use the toothpick hinge method. Insert a portion of toothpick into the door, then slot it into a corresponding hole in the base. Adhere the top piece, then push another toothpick through it to anchor the door in place. The handle is an old plastic buckle, cut in half and glued together for dimension. To mimic food rotating to cook, find a clear lid that fits inside the microwave. Poke a hole in the centre of the lid and insert a segment of toothpick. Make a matching hole in the base, then push the toothpick through the floor. You can turn the table with your finger from the inside or twist the toothpick underneath when the door is closed. Glue the microwave to the back wall and upper cabinet and the unit is complete. There are so many great features in AG's new gourmet kitchen and we hope you enjoyed our take on this set. By DIYing our own version, we could change the colour palette to reflect our doll's personality, whilst keeping the clever structural design from AG and including lights in the fridge and oven. Check back soon to see how we make an island bench with additional storage, bar stools and kitchen table that complement this set. And let us know in the comments what food items you'd like us to craft next. Thanks for joining me 
and see you soon for more miniature crafting fun.